Mr. Williams here with another Breaking Bad Season 3 Episode I think 2 I think 3 Episode 3 Anyway, what's up y'all? Y'all can see I'm not in the studio uh, Doing some little deep sea fishing Cold, cold as hell out here But I'm trying to catch something Anyway, hope y'all enjoy this episode. Get back with y'all later. Hay dos clases de hombres en este mundo. Los que toman y los que sirven. Pero ya no, porque yo entendí que un hombre no puede tomar todo lo que quiere esperándose en una línea. Oye, jefe, ¿qué onda? ¿Qué the fuck was dead? Levanito, salen de tu boca rapidito, fluyen como una cascada. Me gusta eso de ti. Salud. Qué chulada. En serio, ¿te gusta? That's oh. the motherfucking. Me encanta, Eve. Qué padre, mascota. So I knew I wasn't tripping. So the killer twins cut that fucking rat's head off. Son of a bitch. I didn't understand a goddamn thing they was saying in Spanish. I don't got the damn English subtitles on or whatever. But I don't need to understand shit. I know what a rat is. I mean, I don't like rats either. The ones on four legs and two legs. I don't like neither one of them. God damn, how long that damn piece been up there? Damn! By the looks of him, he has no idea how close he came. You got that shit I'm right. I'm assuming Saul Goodman doesn't need to know. <laughs> Like, didn't you call him about the pizza? Walt, are you in the house? What? What the hell are you doing in there? It's his fucking house, lady. No, no, you're not back, Walt. You're not back. Get, get, get out of there. I am not coming in there until you get out. Sit yourself. Damn right. Let us sit our ass in the fucking car. But go get what? the baby out the car. What? is wrong with you. Skylar, I have every right to be here. No, you don't. You don't live here anymore. We're getting a divorce. I don't agree to it. Well, it's not up to you! If you don't get out of here right now, I'm going to call the police, and I'm going to tell them everything. I mean it, Walt. Ooh, my. There you go. Stay in your motherfucking ground. And she calling the goddamn cops. He can touch his own baby. Ooh, what a fucking skink. She calling the cops. Yes, I um, I want to report a disturbance, please. No, no, it's not. Y'all defending it's not this, huh? Exactly, it's um. Y'all defending Scala. It's a domestic issue. Okay. They're connecting me. Right hand to God, I will tell them. I mean, he. This family is everything to me. Without it. I mean, she treating him like. Fine. Walter was sleeping with Marie. 
Yes, my name is Skylar White. I need police assistance at my home right away. My soon-to-be ex-husband broke into my house, and I need an officer to come and remove him. I mean, for the life of me, I don't understand why I get so much shit about Skylar. I mean, I understand Walt lied. I understand Walt is doing meth, not doing meth, selling meth. I understand he done so much shit behind Skylar's back for his, hell, everything you can think of. But the one thing he haven't done is not love his family. I'm not defending Walt on all his fuckery because all the shit is wrong. Hear me loud and clear, YouTube. I'm not defending Walt's bullshit. I'm defending the loyalty that Skylar don't have for Walt at this moment. Okay? Try to follow me. At this moment, she is treating him as he, as if he slept with her sister. And that's not the case. All the shit he done, it was for her. And she just straight just dismissed anything he tried. Now she called the cops. That's like the ultimate disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Cheating is, is up there. But calling the cops, that's like the ultimate disrespect. Especially on your husband. I mean, I can understand if he was beating the fuck out of her and smacking her around and abusing everybody and just don't give a fuck. Well, it ain't like that. Not with his family. And she calling the cops and y'all defending the shit. And I'll get a comment saying, Mr. Williams, you don't know what you're talking about. Skylar, look at all the stuff Walt did. I get it. But calling the cops on your husband that haven't laid a finger on you put a roof over your head, fixing the house, working two jobs, washing a fucking car, and teaching badass kids at school that don't respect them. All the shit that you gotta provide, and at the end of it all, what you do? You get disrespect. Yeah, Walt hands is dirty. Who, whose hands not? Everybody don't done bullshit in their life. Fuck. Wow. They're coming. Oh, you fucking. Dad's here. Oh, great. Oh. Dad. Hey, son. <laughs> How are you? Oh, can't, can't wait. I haven't seen Dad in like forever. Walter. I was school. Yeah. Why is she doing this? Not really. Them cops slowed in the hood. I swear they come slowed in the hood. Hello, ma'am. You were called about a disturbance? You, you called the cops on Dad? Yeah! I, um, I came home from work. I, I want him out. I, I, I want him out of the house. This is what uh, there's a couple of questions I need to ask you right off the bat. It's very important that you answer them honestly. Did he strike you? No. No. Has he ever hit you? No, this is not about <laughs> violence. This is about trespassing. About him. How can you trespass in his own house? Trespass. You're divorced then. No, we're working on it. Um, we, right now we're separated. Legally separated. Well, there's not a court order if that's what you mean but um we've been living apart for almost two weeks give or take I, I, I changed the locks isn't that breaking and entering whose name is on the title to the house both of us it's it's um it's his name is on there as well you can't arrest a man for breaking into his own house not without a court order requiring he stays away from the premises what's wrong with this lady no not physically but having him in the house is just Good thing. I got her, honey. 
That's his baby. Disagree. Share of that. I'm gonna level with you, man. If you want your husband out of the house, you're gonna have to help me out. Is it possible maybe he's broken any laws that you know of? Anything at all? Anything that we can work with here, just tell me. Even if you just got a suspicion of wrongdoing. Next time you feel like things are getting out of control, you should call this number. It's the family hotline. We're really looking at some counseling. You know, I got a whole lot to say about this scene right here. But I don't want to disturb the rest of the, the guests in the building. I, I am not in the underdog studio. Okay, so I don't want to get kicked out because my head is about to explode from the scene right here. I can't believe she went this far to call the cops on Walt. You know what I'm saying? To hurt Walt like that. Do you know what type of pain that could cause in Walt's situation right now? Huh? He could be gone for like, for life. Okay? For life. Never see his kids grow up. Think about this, okay? For life. All the shit that Walt been through for her and just like that gone over her feelings because Walt lied about the cell phone he lied about all the things and didn't tell her and didn't include her okay but he told you he didn't call the cops on you <sighs> you know I'm in, I know I'm gonna get a lot of shit from y'all scholar lovers out there. She's a fucking... I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Take a look at this cop right here. Okay? Look at this cop. Look at him. Look at him good. You see how he's looking at Scholar? I'm going to translate what he's thinking about this phone call. Okay? He didn't strike her. There's no court order. His name is on... The, the house both their names are on the house and you change the locks that's what you got to go on now I want you to look at this cop and I'm going to translate on what he's thinking right now you ready Sir, thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You bet on that. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, uh, thanks again, sir. I, I really appreciate your stuff to the plate. Thank you. Sure. 
Can you keep me in suspense or what? What's the good news? Parker called in a couple of favors. El Paso wants me back. <laughs> hey, man, congrats, man. That's fantastic. Thank you. Oh, shit. They jacked that old lady. They jacked that old lady. It ain't funny, but they jacked that old lady. I can't get the fucking. tenía un sobrino que se llamaba Tuco. Sí. Tuco. Y a lo mejor también sabes que Don Salamanca fue su mentor en el negocio. Lo trataba como un hijo. No tengo ningún no problema. No problema. Esas, pero precisamente estoy involucrado con este señor. Cuando nuestros negocios se terminen, no me importaba lo que hagan con él. Hasta entonces, lo necesito vivo. Con su permiso, señores. Is he cussing? He got to be cussing. Okay, let me try to break this down, okay? I don't speak Spanish. I can't get the, the captions to come on the TV, so I don't understand what the fuck they're talking about. But I'm going to try to break this down. The best way I can. Y'all let me know if I get this wrong. Uh, Gus is the man. The top boss. Kingpin. Um, the grandpa, I mean the uncle, the Dean, King, King Dean, is the underboss. Okay, all these guys work for Gus. Okay, they're like underbosses. Um, the uncle was trying to explain to Gus what happened to Tuco and why he wanted to whack Walter White. All right, Gus like stepped in, you know what I'm saying, and told the grandpa no. You know what I'm saying? He pulled rank on the grandpa. I keep saying grandpa, the uncle. Gus pulled rank on the uncle, right? Because he's like a lower level than, than Gus. I guess he worked for Gus. I guess. Let me know if I get this right. So he pulled rank. No, you can't, you can't, you can't take him out. He works for me now. Alright? He's my employee. You can't whack him. So the grandpa got mad and started cussing Gus out. Ding, 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 You know, you know, this motherfucker killed my, my nephew. I want blood. You know what I'm saying? And and Gus is like, nah, he making me money. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get him to work for me. So that's the best I can come up with. You know what I'm saying? Gus liked the product that Walter White presented to him. And Everybody's trying to get him to go back to cook. You know what I'm saying? Go back to doing what he know best. And he don't want the grandpa, I mean the uncle, to take out Walter. All right? So he's under Gus protection. All right? That's the best I can come up with. Y'all let me know if I'm close. And the grandpa's piss. Ding, 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 ding. Esos chamacos que están ahí adentro, no puedo garantizar que pongan atención. Ellos no son como tú y yo. Skyler, can I use the bathroom? Let the man use the bathroom.
Okay, okay, okay. He could have went and took his ass outside. Okay? That's where I thought he was going. Piss in the kitchen sink. I don't piss a lot of places. Okay? I'm not even going to name them all. I don't piss a lot of places. Some people piss the bed. I never pissed in the kitchen sink where I wash dishes at. Forks, spoons, knives, all your eating utensils. I don't want to think of you, you know, of urine in the same place where I have my eating utensils. I never said I agree with a lot of shit Walt do. I never said that. I just admire his loyalty in his fight for his family. Well-being and well off. It's going to I can't advise you properly if you don't give me all the facts. Oh, she's going to be trouble. I'm bound by the attorney. This lawyer going to be trouble. to keep everything you tell me a secret. I can't tell a soul unless you authorize me to. Even if it's something illegal. Especially she ain't gonna illegal. tell her. She I gonna tell her. Not the police. Oh, she caught the, the cops. She'll tell her. If she caught the cops. My husband makes meth. <laughs> Your husband's a drug dealer. A manufacturer. Technically, they, um, they, they call them cooks. I looked it up on the internet. This is my advice, and you should take it. Sue your husband for divorce immediately. Let me go to the police and tell them what you just told me. I'll go in ex parte to get a restraining order from the court today. If he comes anywhere near you and your children, he'll go straight to jail. No questions asked. This is a no-brainer. It's the best thing for you and your family. I don't want my son to find out that his father is a criminal. I just... The whole world of criminals. Damn, we're doing this shit. Max, this is the kind of place you get knifed. She went to Chili's, man. All right, already, Jesus. Come on, man, I'd be dying to get back in the action. Yeah, well, it's not like there's nothing going on up here. What are you talking about? Ain't Jack going on up here? It's quiet as hell. I'm going through that shit again. Have another attack. Come on, man. Pull yourself together. Shut this shit off. Right. Oh, what you doing? Calling APD. What do you think? Since when can't we handle a couple of dirt balls? Oh, man. Courtesy call. Where are you going? I take a leak. Jesus, get yourself some low mass. Fuck. Call your partner, dog. I don't see him talk shit. I don't see all those one liners. But do he got them hands? This ought to be good. It's two of them. His partner's outside. Do Hank got them hands? Do we got them hands? Mr. Williams definitely got them hands. I got them hands, trust me. But do Hank got them hands? Do we got them hands? Damn, he got it bad, bro. He got it bad. I feel you, though, cuz. Hey, if you're trying to tell me something, I've got four little words for you. Do not call. The number you have reached is 1494 Oh, I found a disconnect. 
I'm going to share some real shit with y'all. I never told anybody. I wasn't going to say anything because I keep my personal shit to myself. But what Jesse was doing, I done also. And I called it that number all the time until it was disconnected. I'm the one that actually disconnected because I couldn't stop calling that number. I I feel this shit hard. Wasn't gonna share that, but I like to keep it real with y'all. This shit hit so close to home. Shot deal go down. I went outside to call it in. You stayed to keep an eye on the suspects. That's when they attacked you. What I didn't tell them is that you left your gun in the seat before you went back inside. I've done a terrible thing. But I did it for a good reason. I did it for us. That... Is college tuition for Walter Jr. and Holly 18 years down the road? That is health insurance for you and the kids. For Jr.'s physical therapy, his SAT tutor. It's money for groceries, gas, for birthdays. Graduation parties. So if that money is for this roof over your head, the mortgage that you are not going to be able to afford on a part-time bookkeeper's salary when I'm gone. Please. Shut up! Damn. This money. I didn't steal it doesn't belong to anyone else. I earned it. The things I've done to earn it. The things I've had to do. I've got to live with them. Skyler, all that I've done, all the sacrifices that I have made for this family, all of it will be for nothing if you don't accept what I've earned. Please. All you Skyler lovers out there. He just laid it on out there. He just told her all his plans. College tuition, the mortgage, gas, food, the roof over your head, everything. He just laid it out there. This is why he did so many things that he didn't want to do. He had to do. His back was against the wall. He just laid it on out there. All right. Okay. So many people on this world, in this world, had to do so many things that they don't want to do. Do you think people like being a janitor? Do you think people like picking up trash or being a garbage driver or just, uh, Clean toilet bowls. Nobody has, nobody wants to do that shit. It has to be done. But you got to do what you got to do until you can do what you want to do. Okay? You got to make sacrifices sometimes. Do so much shit. Even turn to the street life sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I know it's 
cold. I know it's taboo. But let me tell you something. United States, this country you're living in right now that you love so much, it was built on fucking drugs. It was built on motherfucking lies. It was built on fucking chaos. Everything that you love so much was built on a motherfucking lie and motherfucking drugs and motherfucking chaos. Everything that you motherfuckers love, okay, was built on drug money and fucking lies. Yes, that's the fucking truth, okay? So, I admire Walt, okay? Because he's using what America have always done. Tell lies and process drugs. That's what America always done. But he's just using it to provide for his family. And this fucking... Go ahead and hit it. Don't get it. But let's see. It seems like that she's kind of mellowing down. And like Walt was getting through her a little bit. It seemed like she's trying to come through. Because you see how she looked at that bag of money? Women love money. Women love money. This guy... Slick, thirsty Ted. Oh, shit. She finna go whining to him again. Y'all have been on my ass about I'm too hard on Skylar. I need to see it from her point of view. I need to see what the thing she been going through. I need to see how Walt been lying to her. I need to see how Walt been doing this. I need to see how Walt been doing that. I need to see it this way. I need to see it that way. Listen to me. I don't see it no goddamn way. This motherfucking skank just Walt just pulled his heart out and told this game his reasoning not only showing her that he loves her He has the evidence right there in front of him. He has blood money, but it's a fact. It's not a lie. That's what he been doing all this time. It's right there in front of your eyes. What did she do? Huh? What, what did she do? Come on, come on, scholar people. What does she do? She take her stinking ass up to the job in broad fucking daylight. And just completely throw the yams. Just, she might well just took her panties off and just stuffed it in Ted's mouth. 
Oh, he would have ate every bit of it too. He would he would just he would he would have ate every bit of it. In broad goddamn daylight. That's her way of getting back at Walt. Here, you can just have my body. My Walt, my 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 husband uh is a drug dealer that's trying to leave me a whole lot of money so I don't have to work a day in my life. You can have my body because I'm pissed. Y'all defend that. Y'all defend that. There is no coming back after this. There is no way in fucking hell I would like Scott. There is no fucking way. I cannot wait. I'm going to get pleasure in seeing Walter White chop Ted into little pieces. I'm going to get pleasure from this. It's going to great it's going to bring me great joy to watch him scream. You know, and I hope scholars right beside him just chop them both in little pieces. Both of them. Because Ted called Walter White by his name. So he knows this dude. This ain't no random dude. They know each other. So he been on Skylar for a while. Groped her at the party. Oh, he was drunk. No, because when you're drinking, you always tell the truth like Mr. Williams. Look at this skank. This got our back blown out. What? What, what? what? I forgot about something. What? Where in the fuck was the baby? Tell me she didn't take that baby to Ted's house. While his kids was gone, she going to take Walter's baby. So the baby can hear her mama get her back blown out. I'm uh, cooking dinner. <laughs> Pot roast. Invited Lewis to stay for dinner. Walt looking like a real simp. So thank you for driving Walter Jr. Thank you.